Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Timu haul video which I'm super excited about because you guys seem to really like the last one. So I wanted to bring another one to you and I am partnering with Timu again on today's video. I'm sure you guys have heard of Timu but it's just a super affordable online retailer. They literally have everything you can imagine you guys. It's a little bit insane but very convenient and very addicting. I mean literally you could be on the app for hours just scrolling through things and they make it very easy to shop as well. There are so many discounts in the app and I also have a discount code for you guys. If you input this code at checkout that should get you a little bit of money off of your order. They also offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days and there are so many ways to pay. I know a lot of people are scared to input credit card information and all of that stuff but they do have other options to pay to where you don't have to do that. You can pay with Afterpay or something like Venmo or PayPal. But yeah we have stuff from from so many different categories today. We have a lot of like baby and kid stuff for my daughter, a lot of fashion and accessories in today's video. I have a few home things, a few beauty finds, and then a couple random gadgets. So if you enjoy this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I would love to have you. But without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So this time I'm going to show you guys everything in categories. So I'm gonna start with the random section. That just don't really fit into any other category. We will start with these headphones. I've been wanting a pair of Apple AirPod Max headphones for so long now, but they are like $500 and I just really don't want to spend that right now. So when I was on Timu, I was like, you know what? I should look for headphones. And I found these and they look so similar to the Apple AirPods. So I was super excited about these and I actually have already been using them. They are pretty comfortable. They have like a really squishy inner part here for your ear. Obviously they go over your ears. The only thing is they are not adjustable so if you have like a taller head that might be an issue but for me they do fit. If my head was like any bigger they probably wouldn't so if you know you have a super big head these probably won't work for you but I do really like them and they do come in other colors and they're totally wireless. They connect via Bluetooth to your phone or computer. A couple little kitchen gadgets. I got a grape cutter because my daughter loves grapes but obviously they are a huge choking hazard so I wanted to grab one of these that I've seen all over social media that makes it super easy to cut your grapes so you just remove the cap here I think you insert the grapes into here and then you push this down and it cuts your grapes into four pieces and I think this will honestly be much easier than sitting there trying to cut each individual grape so I'm actually really excited about this I can't wait to use it and it is so cheap so why the heck not kind of similar this is a a fruit cutter. I've also seen these all over social media, but it looks just like a bin, but you actually pop the bottom off here and you can see the slicing mechanism here. So this works great for strawberries, carrots, cucumbers, anything like that that you want in slices. And as you press down and slice it, it's just going to collect in this little bin here, making it super easy to just like bam, 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 cut everything and put it away in a storage container. This is like a little miniature box cutter. You just slice slide this up here and you have a very sharp box cutter. I'm always opening packages and needing stuff like this. So I just thought I would get this one since it was less than a dollar. So this is a workout product and I don't even know really what you would call this, but it's supposed to be used for doing hip thrusts if you don't have a barbell. So basically it is just this band that you sit over top of your hips and it has this heavy duty Velcro part on the end that you can actually put dumbbells in so that it is a proper hip thrust exercise. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you've ever done hip thrust, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about, but I will try to insert a photo. But this is great for our home gym. Hip thrusts are something that I always do when I am weightlifting, but we do not have room in our home gym for a barbell, so this will be perfect. I also got a tongue scraper on Timu because I really wanted a silicone one. The one that I currently have is metal, and I don't know why, I just do not like the feeling of that metal on my tongue. So I think that I will do a little bit better with a silicone one. And this one is also a lot longer than the one I have, which is great. And it's cute and pink. And if you don't know, tongue scrapers are great for getting all of that bacteria off of your tongue. If you are not cleaning your tongue, you have to be, you guys. Obviously brush your tongue, but this is just like an additional layer of cleanliness. I guess I'll show you guys some of the beauty things that I got. So this little gadget is for doing your mascara. So I think you put it just like this. And then as you're doing your mascara, it's supposed to stop 
stop it from getting all over your eyelids. I recently did a DIY lash lift and although my lashes look great when I have nothing on them, applying mascara to them with the lash lift has been very annoying. I feel like mascara gets everywhere. So I wanted to get something that might help with that. And I just realized I think it has a place for the bottom lashes too. So hopefully this will be useful. Kind of similar, I got this little gadget that is supposed to help with applying liquid eyeliner. So for this one, you just line it up and it'll kind of give you the shape to do your eyeliner. I think you can use it like this or you can use it like this. It comes with a little instruction sheet, which will definitely be necessary because I have no idea where to even start using something like that. And then I wanted to try some eyelashes from Timu. You guys know I'm a big lash girly and I really like getting packs of lashes like this because they last for so long. I really liked this style. They look like the cat eye kind of shape that I always go for, a little bit fluffier on the ends and a little bit thinner on the inner corner. These do look very, very silky, so I'm wondering how natural they're gonna look on my eyes, but you never know. We'll just have to test them out and see. Now this I am so excited about. It's like a little bow hair clip. Like, is that not the most precious thing you've ever seen? I just got it in white, but I do believe it comes in other colors. Obviously bows are very popular and trendy right now. But yeah, I just got this to do my little claw clip hairstyles. And when it's in your hair, if you're looking at it from the side, it'll just look like a little bow and it's so cute. So definitely love that. And then I got some hair rollers because I really want to perfect the beautiful blowout using my Dyson Airwrap. And I thought these might come in handy. You get so many of them. Like literally this has to be like 20. They're like all tucked down inside of each other. Now I'm dropping them everywhere, but you get the point. There are a ton of them and it comes with a bunch of clips to keep them in place. These actually seem really nice. I've had other hair rollers before and these seem very similar and I love the hot pink. Next, let's talk baby stuff. So when I was doing my Timu order, I wanted to get a couple of things for my daughter's Easter basket since Easter is quickly approaching. First, I got this little peep, which is so adorable. I will be honest, I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger. So that is one thing about Timu. Definitely be sure you are looking at measurements of things because this has happened to me and my husband a couple times and it happened with something else in this haul video too. But if you're not looking at the dimensions, you can be shocked at the size of something. It's fine. I mean, it'll still look cute in her Easter basket and I'm sure she'll still love it since she's only one years old. I also got a four pack of these little guys. It came with a blue, pink, purple, and orange little giraffe and their arms expand. My daughter loves stuff like this. And these you can actually suction to like a car window or something if you're on a road trip. I just thought it would be cute to stick a couple of those down in her Easter basket. I also got this that I thought would be cute in her Easter basket. This is just a little bubble wand. This translation here says, happy small ants, bubbles have childhood. So I'm not sure what that means. Anyways, I thought it was cute and I love a little bubble wand that she can actually hold herself and wave around. Also for Easter, I thought this little outfit was adorable with the little bunnies on the skirt and I liked that it was a bodysuit with the skirt overlay on top. I just find that that is super easy to dress her in. And it's just a little tank top, so adorable. And it came with a little matching bow. I also got her another little sleeper because I was so impressed with the bamboo sleeper that I got in my last Timu haul video. So I had to go back and check out the other prints. I really loved this one. It's just like a really nice pastel checkered print. And once again, I was just saying in my other haul video that these are almost identical to sleepers that I have from brands that are selling them for 40 bucks. And this I think was like $8. It's insane. But they have all the same features, the double zipper, the fold over mittens and the little fold over footies. And like I said, they are a bamboo material, so soft and stretchy. And the butterfly print one that I got from Timu last time has held up great in the wash. So honestly, I cannot recommend this enough. Next up, I wanted to look for some sand toys on Timu for our beach trip coming up this summer. It's hard to believe that summer really is just around the corner in a few months. I got this really nice silicone sand toy kit. So it just comes with a little bucket here. You have a nice little silicone shovel, a couple of the sand toy shapes. So you have a seashell, a little turtle, and a starfish. And then you have a little silicone watering can too. So I cannot wait to see her play with these. Such good quality, lots of colors available. And honestly, I think that's all she'll really need. So this next thing said it was a large mesh bag for sand toys. So I was like, oh, perfect. I can put all of her sand toys in it. It'll be great. And this is what arrived. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is large, at least in my definition. 
one. So I might return this one, but just an example that you do have to be careful with measurements because I was expecting like a huge tote bag and maybe this is large if I put it on my one-year-old shoulder, but we're not gonna do that, so. Now moving into the home category. So this looks like nothing when I'm just holding it up, but it's actually one of those hat holders and I just wanted it for down here in my studio. I thought it might look cute on one of the walls. You have like the ring here and then it's just like a rope and you put the hat through it on the wall and it has space to hold three of them and these just look really cute hanging on your wall. So I'm gonna have to have my husband put that up maybe tonight. I also got this little photo frame which I am super excited about because this looks just like the anthropology photo frames that are very expensive. I want to say this is the medium size. It is still small. Like I said always just kind of expect things to be smaller than you imagine and then if you get it and it's bigger then that's even better. But I do really like this. I think it's so cute and it's going to look great in my living room. This one is a six by eight. I also got this vase which I'm super excited about because it looks a lot more expensive than what it was. Once again it is a smaller home decor item but I honestly think it's perfect for what I'm looking for and I just think it's unique. It's modern. It literally looks like handmade or something. I know these types of vases are everywhere but they're nice and they fit my little boho theme so I love it. Same with this little wooden bowl. This is another really popular home decor piece right now. So I went on the hunt for one on Timu and I'm glad that I picked this one up. Once again it is a smaller piece but I don't mind that. I think it's actually perfect for just like holding keys or rings or any random stuff that you want to just like throw in here when you get home from work or something. Kind of like a little catch-all. This is perfect on an entryway table and I just love the asymmetrical look. It just looks very natural. And then I also got this which I'm very excited to try out. It is a colorful diffuser and I got this for down here in my husband's man cave. I think it'll be cool. But in the picture they show this diffusing stuff and it's all lit up and you can actually do an orange color and it looks like fire. So it literally looks like you have a little fireplace just like on your countertop. So I'm hoping it actually gives that effect. But yeah, just a little diffuser. I think my husband will like this. I have not showed it to him yet, but I'll have to show him tonight and plug it up and I will enter a clip of what it looks like. But I do believe it comes in other colors. I personally think the black looks the best if you are going for that faux fireplace kind of look. And it does have a one hour, three hour, and five hour timer on it. Next is this beautiful bow shaped pillow. I am obsessed. Like this is so cute. Oh my gosh. We've already talked about how bows are super popular and this pillow is gorgeous. This is something that honestly exceeded my expectations from when I ordered it to when it arrived. I'm just like, wow, this is so cute. I want one in every color in every room of my house. And if for whatever reason you needed to take away the bow shape, this does come unbuttoned in the back. But yeah, it's precious. I love it. I'm going to set this out with my spring decor. Next, I'll talk about jewelry and then I will go into accessories and finish off with all of the clothes. So I did pick up a lot of jewelry this time around. First up, we have a couple of bow pieces. I really love these little earrings with the droopy bow look. Like I said, that is very trendy and popular right now. So Timu is a great place to get those really trendy items that you don't want to spend a lot of money on. I opened this one and it broke, which I'm really sad about because this was a really cute bow necklace. So I'll have to get on and include this in my next order, but that was super cute. Another necklace. So I picked this one out because it reminded me of the Hailey Bieber necklace that is so popular. It's just like a chunky bubble initial letter, but it is covered in like sparkly rhinestones. It's not quite as big as the Hailey Bieber one, but I still think it's a cute similar option. So you guys are going to laugh at the next piece, but it is a fake engagement ring. I think I had literally like less than a dollar to spend on my gift card. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this in just to see what it would look like if I ever upgraded my ring. This is like a nice way to test it out, see what I like, which I'm not upgrading my ring anytime soon, but my husband and I have talked about it at like the 10 or 15 year mark. And I always thought I would want like a larger stone and a really, really simple band in gold. So I was like, you know what? For a dollar, let me just see what it would look like. And it's definitely noticeable that it's a fake diamond. Of course, I didn't really expect it to look real, but if you ever just want to test out what a ring would look like on you, this is a great way to do so without having to go into a jewelry store and have them like pressure you and all of that weird stuff. And I do like it. I think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? Should I upgrade my ring? This is also great if you just want guys to leave you alone at the bar, just get a little fake engagement ring. Why the heck not? We have another necklace. This 
one is just a cross necklace, but I really liked the shape of it. And I'm just always looking for good, simple necklaces like this to layer. And then lastly for jewelry, we have a couple of bracelets. This one just looked very designer to me and I like that it is open so it will fit any wrist size. Oh, and this one also came with a little ring. So that's kind of cool. And then here's the other bracelet, just another simple gold bangle that's great for layering, but I liked the unique shape of this one. It's kind of like wavy. Next up for shoes, I got this pair of sandals because they reminded me of like Gucci slides or something. I mean, those are so cute. Just really simple. The color is neutral, so it's gonna match with a lot. And I wear little slides like this all the time in summertime. So I think I will get a lot of use out of these. I also got a pair of sneakers. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know how much I love sneakers. I wear them almost every single day. So I thought these were adorable with the pink laces and then the little pink part on the back. I cannot wait to wear these. Like they are just going to be perfect just to add in a little pop of color and they're super lightweight and they do have a little bit of like a cushion. So that's nice. So cute. And this next pair of shoes, you guys might be my favorite thing in this entire video. Are these not the most me shoes you have ever seen? I just cannot wait to wear these. I love everything gold. So these will be perfect with so many of my outfits. They don't really look cheap at all to me. Like even this part of the strap is very puffy. It's not thin. I love the square toe. And then of course this like gold chain detail. Gorgeous. They just look so expensive and so stylish. So you guys will absolutely be seeing these a lot in styling videos and in outfits on Instagram. If I go anywhere and dress up, I will have to wear those. Sticking with the gold theme, I also picked up this handbag. This literally looks like the shape of the Balenciaga handbags. And I do love that shape. It's just kind of unique. It's like a trapezoid moment. You do have the gold clasp here. So you have gold hardware on a gold bag that does have like the crocodile texture to it. I love the little top handle here. And it does come with a strap if you want to wear it as a crossbody. So yeah, a decent amount of room in there. And then I also picked up this black hobo bag. These are another thing that have been very trendy lately. A lot of girls are wearing a larger, more casual handbag just for like day-to-day -day styling. And I thought this one was great. I really like the shiny black leather look. I will say it does have a little bit of a factory smell, but I feel like after it airs out, it'll be fine. But yeah, quite a bit of room in here. And I think this is going to be great to just like throw over your shoulder and go. So for the last category, we will talk about clothes. And there is quite a few, so I'm gonna roll through these quickly. So first up, I had to try a pair of jeans. And first impressions, I actually think I'm gonna like these. They seem really nice. They're not like overly stretchy, which is good. That's kind of what I prefer in my denim. They do have a little bit of distressing. And these are just like a wide leg or a straight leg cut. And I really love the wash on these as well. And the back pockets are plain. None of this stuff is steamed, by the way. I still need to steam it all. But I also got this little t-shirt that says Beach Bum. I just thought this would be a cute little travel t-shirt or lounge t-shirt when I'm at the beach this summer. Speaking of the beach, I did pick up a swimsuit. I was really impressed with the swimsuit that I got in my last Timu haul video, so I thought I would try out another one. This time I did get a two-piece, so here is what the top looks like. I really liked that it was a little bit longer. I just find that that is the most flattering fit on me. But yeah, just a plunge neckline and it does have a tie in the back so you can tighten it. And then you have the high-waisted bottoms. It looks like they have a little bit of ruching here and this is just in a neutral like palm print. And you do have a little tiger on your booty there. So then I got this as a little cover-up which it's a little confusing because it has like two ties here. I'm assuming you put it on like this, like it's a little skirt and then it just ties on one side. I just always wear little white knitted stuff like this in the summertime so I thought I would pick that up. Similarly, we have a fully knitted white maxi dress. Some people wear these like as actual dresses with like a little slip underneath or you can wear it as a cover up. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna like this once I try it on. So we will start there because I could absolutely hate it. This is what it looks like. It has like a little pearl closure at the top, which I didn't realize online, but I think that's cute. And it is long sleeve. So if it's really hot where you're at, this might not 
not be an ideal option, but it would be great for a photo or if it is a little bit chilly, if you're going somewhere like early summer or even in the spring. And like I said, it is just a maxi dress. So it goes all the way down in the same white knit fabric. So this is a little two piece set. Online, the picture looked very similar to like the Spanx Air Essentials set. So I was really excited to get this in the mail and see if it was similar. But upon its arrival, it is not at all. It is just a traditional, really thick cotton fleece material. So to be honest, I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this. You do have an elastic waistband here. It does have like some interesting stitching on the leg, which I appreciate. I think that's kind of unique. And it does cinch at the ankles. The sweatshirt is a little better. I do love the hardware on this. It has a gold zipper and then the collar detail, which is very popular. This goes all the way down, same material. I do really like the color of this. It does come in several colors. We have another dress in this blue and white striped print. So this is a collared dress. Once again, a very popular style right now. It does have a V-neckline. And then at the waist here, it is just elastic and stretchy. It is long sleeves, but it does have elastic at your wrist. And it is just a mini dress style with lots of fabric at the bottom. And it does seem like a slightly thicker fabric. So I don't think you'll have much issue with it being see-through, but that one is a very modest style, which I don't typically go for a ton, but dresses like that are nice to have for certain occasions. If you're going like to church or out with family or whatever it is, they're nice to have sometimes. We have this little pink dress in a ribbed material. I tend to really like this material. It's like silky, but it's still like that accordion ribbed kind of texture. And I think this is going to be a really nice cut on me. So it's kind of hard to tell just holding it up, but it does have two little ties here in the center, which is a cute little detail. It's long sleeve and it does have a little ruffle moment on the end of the sleeve and on the hemline of the dress. I got two little matching short and shirt combos. So the first one is in this white and black combo and I really love this pattern. It's just simple. I feel like this is modern and trendy and I think I'm really gonna like these shorts. They're very lightweight. Honestly, they might be a little see-through, so definitely wear nude underwear or even like a bathing suit underneath them. But yeah, super stretchy. They do have a string to tie in a bow here. But overall, they look like a good, nice, flowy pair of shorts. And then here is the top to match. You just have a collared shirt that buttons all the way down. Once again, I just love little sets like this. You can either wear it open with a bathing suit underneath and kind of wear it as a cover up. It would be great to throw on if you are walking to restaurants and that sort of thing in between your time at the beach or pool. Or just as an outfit, you can button it up, tuck it in or wear a black bodysuit underneath. And then the other one that I got is in this really fun, colorful pattern. These do have a lining in them, so these are not going to be as see-through, and they do have an elastic waistband. No added detail other than that, though. No pockets, no drawstring. And then here is the top. Once again, very similar to the last one, collared shirt that buttons all the way down. These are both full-length shirts, and what I love about sets like this is that you can mix and match. So specifically the shorts, if you wanted to wear them with like a nice white blouse. You could do that to dress it up a little bit more. Next, we have this black dress. It is literally the most simple dress ever. It's just like a little mini dress. Not much to say about it at all, other than it does have like poofy sleeves, which is a silhouette that I love on my body type. You have elastic at the end of the sleeves, all across your shoulders. And in the back, this entire material is a smocked material, making it really stretchy and comfortable, easy to fit lots of different chest sizes, which is great. And I always just think it's great to have a little black dress. This next dress is in a brown color and I liked the silhouette of this one for more of a casual look. It's just really flowy. It does have somewhat poofy sleeves on them and you actually have these ties on the end too, which is a fun detail. And then in the center at your bust, you also have a little tie there, which once again is a cute little detail. I've seen this style of dress in a lot of places and I always think it looks really cute on. So very excited to try that one. And that is actually everything for today's Timu haul video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like I said in the beginning, and subscribe down below if you're not already. Don't forget to use that discount code if you are checking out at Timu. Everything will, of course, be linked in the description box below. And let me know what your favorite piece was that I shared today or what other categories you want me to shop on Timu next. But yeah, that is about it. I hope that you guys are having a fabulous day, and hopefully I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!